Hello, it's Mark from Not Taught at School and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share 10 different websites that you can use to make $100 a day online. Now, you can earn more, you can earn less. It will just depend on how much time and effort you're going to put into this. Now, like most things I share on this channel, all of these websites are absolutely free to go ahead and get signed up with. You can get started with this today. You do not need any special skills. You don't need any experience. And they're available in most countries around the world. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll go through the websites and I'll show you some examples and I'll show you how you can get these different money making methods up and running. Now, I can guarantee there's going to be a minimum of at least three or four of these different websites that you haven't seen before or that you didn't know existed in it and different ways that you can make money. So be sure to watch this video through to the end. And then if you have any questions, then go ahead and comment and leave them below. If you like the video, go ahead and give the thumbs up. And if you do it, thumbs down. It's entirely up to you. Now, before we jump into this video really quickly, if you are interested in simple, easy, normally free ways to go ahead and make money, subscribe to the channel and then you'll never miss when I upload a video because I upload a minimum of five videos a week. And I'll drop a link below to my blog for you. There's lots of money making resources on there. I've got a members area, there's free resources in there. So go ahead and check that out. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So we'll start with something a bit different. So let me jump over here and start on this one here for you. So let me come here. So this is the first website I'm going to share with you. It's called loc, so local.gov forward slash collections. Now everything here, these are all digital images. Now all of these digital images here, these are released under what is called the public domain license. So basically they're, they're free. And you can go ahead and you can get these and you can download these and then you can you can sell these. And I'll show you some different ways that you can sell these and I'll also show you people who are currently doing this. Now I know about this method because I used to do this method myself a number of years ago on eBay. And I was making well over $100 a day. So if you come to this website here on the left hand side you can go through and you can see all of these different categories down here so you can see you've got history you've got law and politics performing at, i'm not going to read them all don't worry scroll down you can see all these different categories down here you've then got all of these other categories here then you've also got the format as well so you've got audio recordings on here you've got photos and prints drawing collections on here you've got film and videos there's lots and lots of these things on here so you can simply come into these have a look at these download these and then once you have these you can start piecing those together now you can do this in a number of ways you could focus on just purely images you could look at downloading audio and you can also look at things like software because lots of softwares are absolutely free in the public domain and then you can go ahead and get those softwares and effectively sell them as your own so this is the website here it's called local.gov collections now i'll just very quickly jump over onto ebay eBay is another site you can use to make money, but we're not we're not covering that. So you see here on eBay, and this is on the .co.uk site, but again, go ahead and have a look at this in your country. You can see all these different images on here, these old war images. You can see the prices on here, another one here, another one here. There's just so many of these. One, another one, another one. Come down, we've got a one here, another one here, another one here, another one here. There's just lots and lots of these available on here, and lots of people. Well, predominantly, it, it's it's normally like in terms of these images what i found in my country it's about three or four different sellers who are doing these and all they're doing is they're coming over to sites like this one here this local gov they're, they're going ahead they're coming down to the category here and they're scrolling down to the photo print and drawing they're simply going into these and, and they're just downloading the images and then printing them off on their computer or the laptop now that's a really simple way that you can make some money now if you didn't want to go down say the image route and you wanted to potentially go down the like ebooks route there's another website that you can use and it's this one here and it's called gutenberg.org now this website here is massive as you can see it's got over 58,000 free ebooks now you can see here that they're um, epub and also kindle ebooks and what you'll see here is da -da 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 -da, we for, uh, with the focus on older works for which the US copyright has expired. So again, there's no copyright claims to this. So you can go ahead and you can get these ebooks and download them. And then you can, what you can do with them, and this is something what I used to do was, I downloaded the ebooks, I would then copy those ebooks and burn them onto a disc, and then I would sell that disc on eBay. Now you can do ebooks, you can even do collections of images. So if we go back over to this website, which we just looked at a minute ago, this local.gov collections, 
you can what you can do is you can come over here you can take some ebooks from here you can then go back over to the gov collect the gov website here and find some related images and you can put those onto a disc and burn them and look let me show you again let me show you another example of this because like I say, I was, I was doing this before. So you've got pictures, you can do pictures, you can do prints, you can do audio, you can do software. Something that I sell, and this was a really, really simple way to make money. It was, let me see, learn Spanish CD. Because the, le 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 the, um, the learn language category, this obviously there's hundreds and hundreds of different languages so once you go ahead and you get one of these listings up on here you can simply then start putting up more and more now let's look at this one here learn to speak spanish complete beginners audio disc this one here's got eight discs so let me just go into this one and see if this is one i mean looking at the image i'm pretty certain this is to be honest with you and this one and the next one but from the learn language um, from the learn language topic itself, I, I was selling hundreds of these a week. So if I scroll down here, let me just go ahead and show you this. See if this is indeed included in the public domain. Come down, come down here. Da, 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 da. Let's have a look at this. So it tells you what you will receive. So basically, you're gonna for this one here, you're gonna receive eight CDs. These CDs have been compiled by us. So yeah. So what they've done it. Let me just keep going down. And see if it is. Yeah. So you see this here. This listing compile complies with all eBay rules and regulations. This item is in the public domain, and we are the copyright holders. So what they what they're doing here is they're going onto these public domain websites. What, I, what I'm just been showing you. They're then getting pieces of information, whether that's audio books, whether that's ebooks, whether that's images. That they put them all into a collection. They then put the collection onto eBay, and you can see here. It's in the public domain, so they're using these public domain items which I've shown you. They then, if you scroll down here, you see these licenses here. So these items contain these CDs are distributed freely and globally under the GNU public license. Now, not many people know about these public licenses or these domain licenses, but there's just such an easy markup to be made on here. So this one here is selling at seven pound. You can see they've sold fifty four of these. If you scroll down. Let me just go down here. Let's have a look on. Where oh, they see here languages, so they've got more, but you can see on here just on this one channel alone, they've got exercise DVDs, they've got digital downloads, they've got prints, decoupage, and prints. So, all of this stuff here, this will all be used via the public domain. So, if I click on languages here, I have no doubt in my mind they're going to have lots and lots of different categories on here Spanish, French, English. So, let's go down here and look at some more. So this seller here, they've got 18 listings on here. And you can see here, this one here, it's just one disc, learn hung Hungarian, three pound. We've got one here, learn Italian, three pound, just for one disc here. So one disc for three pound, and all they're doing is, they're, bur they're burning it, they're downloading it, and then they burn it onto a disc, and then they go ahead and they sell that on there. You've got, look, you can scroll through here, you can see all of these different ones on here. So these are obviously different language discs. Let me go ahead and have a look at this one here, and I'll show you this one. Then we'll move we'll move off from here. So prints, decoupage, and prints more. And again, this was just the first seller I found on eBay. So I've scrolled down here, come down here. So they've only got one listed for here, but you can see here this one here again. It's one disc. They're charging two pound for it. This is vintage risque images. So again, all they've done on here is they've put together a collection of images on a disc, and then they burn the disc, and then they're selling that disc. Now. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go ahead and have a look at. Let's just go back to eBay. And we'll just type in vintage images. Because I can remember uh, in terms of vintage images, there was a disc that I used to sell before and it did really, really well. And it was it was to do with like um, mar old marketing images and brands. So there was things like on there with like Coca-Cola or Pepsi and um, Marlboro. And look, let me go ahead and see if I can find it. See if anyone's still selling it. So marketing images cd hopefully there'll be someone i'm sure there'll, there'll be someone selling a version of it, of, of it at some point but i used to sell this one marketing images cd oh no <laughs> yeah marketing images cd let's see if this comes up 
and then I'll and then I'll quickly move on to the next what the next website here for you. No, it's not that one. I'm trying to think what it would be. It would be um. Let me go on. Let me try this one for you. Old. Oh, no, I'm type in. I'm type in vintage. Let me just type this in vintage images CD. But basically, the whole process is you go onto these websites these free websites, you download the different files that you want, you can then bundle them together onto a CD, and then you can burn them on the CD, you can sell the ebooks directly on eBay, and eBay is not the only website where you can go ahead and sell these products on here, you can do it on eBay, you can do it on Amazon, you can sell them on Etsy, Fiverr, Facebook, Craigslist, there's just so many of these different places that you can go ahead and sell them. So if you just scroll down here, this is just again some simple images, so this one here, 480 images of Victorian cats, I mean, <laughs> would want that i don't know but selling it for two pounds we've got another one here for this one's for dogs we've then got glamour girls this is the one i was looking for see this one here six thousand vintage advertising images on cd so this here you can see this this item here it sold 266 items this sells very very well so again you can go ahead you find these images download them, burn them onto a disc and then it's it's really as simple as that so those two different websites there let me just go back to this one for you. We've got local.gov and we've also got Gutenberg. Really, really simple, really easy and absolutely free to go ahead and get started with. So let's move on to the next website, the third website. The third website we're going to look at is this one here and it's called Flipper. Now I've, look, I've looked at Flipper and I've shared Flipper in past videos. Basically, Flipper is a website where you can come on here and you can buy businesses. You can buy businesses, you can buy you can buy blogs, you can buy websites, you can buy, <laughs> buy, you can buy apps. There's lots and lots of different things that you can buy. Now I've come on here and I've just typed in business model and then I've just filtered it via the price. So you see this one here. In fact, let me just go through and I'll show you some different examples first. So this one here is like how the website would look. You've then got the name of this. So you can see the name of, of the website, the industry, advertising, but you can see on here, re revenue. So this is how much the website is making each month. And this is how much profit they're making each month. And this is the current asking price. So you can go ahead on Flipper. I mean, you can buy websites on here for $10, $20, $30. Now, a, a simple way or an easy way to make some money, if you like, is if you did have some money to start off with, is you can come into the category here and just look for some of these like more premium website websites so they have looked so i've had a look through and there's this one here this one is called the super mummy on amazon so it's a niche site so it's a, a website which is specific to the mums or mummies so if i click on here it will open it up and you can go in and have a look at this in a little bit more detail so this is the website scroll down here it shows you where it where, where it is that when it was founded so this was started last year and then again you've got expenses average profit so it's averaging a profit of 84 dollars a month and then obviously the, re the revenue is 94 dollars come down here we'll show you about the website you know if, why you should buy it why you shouldn't etc how you can improve it the strengths for this so th this one here talks about the keywords already ranking on google and then it's got opportunities for a new owner so what you can do here as well is you can simply click on the url and it'll take you over so if you go over you can see the actual website which you're buying so let's just click on this first article here this top five best maternity scrubs and you can go and have a look at this now what i found in on this website and especially when i've done this in the past when i've come on here and bought websites and then flip them a few weeks later or a couple of months later a lot of the time it's just simple tweaks that you need to go ahead and make to the website to start generating some more income some examples of this would be when i've bought some of these websites in the past they've had what are known as google ads on there so i've gone on there i've taken off the google ads i've moved over to a more premium ad network which has improved the rev <laughs> the revenue by time street absolutely instantly straight away another thing that you can do with this is if i scroll down here normally what you what you tend to find as well is lots of these websites that don't have social profiles so a simple way to do this would be by the website you get the social profile so you create a pinterest account a facebook account and then you start sharing this content on these platforms now this content here would work really really well on pinterest i, I, I know for a fact it would but if we scroll down here so you can see this is the website it does look pretty good to be honest with you and every everything on here so whenever anyone's going to click on any of these on here they're going to go over to amazon and then you earn an amazon sale 
uh, you earn an Amazon commission if somebody goes ahead and buys it. So this is a web. This website looks pretty good. You can see they've got no social links on. They've got no social links on here. These over here are sharing icons, but this website here you could easily go ahead and improve this very very quickly and make some decent money with it. But go back over here but if you if you just wanted to go ahead and buy this so you can see you can buy this for 1800 it's making on average 84 dollars a month so what you're looking at getting your investment back in just what about 16 months 17 months oh, about a year and a half to get your money back and then after that you're running on pure profit and that's if you did absolutely nothing with this now again if we just go back here this is just businesses for sale you can you can filter this by these different categories here so if we go on this one here let's just click on this you can even filter it even more you can go on e-commerce so you can look at things like shopify websites and amazon websites you just spend a bit of time on here but like i said it's entirely up to you if you have some money to invest in this then you can start lower and then work your way up but you can see on here, you can just go through and have a look at these. But Flipper, it's a really easy web website to use. It's easy to navigate and you can find some really, really good deals on here. There's also the domains, which we looked at a couple of days ago, where you go ahead and buy a domain and you flip it on here. That's Again, that's another simple way to do that. But that is Flipper. That's another website that you can go ahead and use to make some extra money online. So let me come out with this. Let me come out with this. Next one. This is a really, really great website to use. It's called Fiverr.com. Now, in terms of Fiverr, it's basically a freelance, a freelancing website. And what you do is you come onto Fiverr and you put up a service. Now, they're known as gigs. So you would list a gig or a, or a service on Fiverr. And then your starting price is, funnily enough, $5. But if I come up here, you, if you just hover over any of these main categories up here, it will then go ahead and break it down further for you. But in terms of what you can offer on here, like when I mention Fiverr to a lot of people, they say, you know, I don't really have any skills, I don't have any knowledge, etc., etc. If you come on here and have a look, there's lots and lots of different things that you can do. Maybe you're good at WordPress, maybe you're good at Microsoft Excel, maybe you're good on social media like Facebook, or maybe you're good at designing. You might have some skills in music and audio. There's just so many different things that you can do in here. Now, there's a couple of things which absolutely everybody can do the first one is this one let me go ahead and do this i'll just type this in voice server if you can speak and you can read a script then you can do this and what happens is somebody will send you a video you simply talk over the top of the video and then you earn money for doing so and there's people doing this and uh, when this loads up in a second i'll show you some examples of this but Fiverr is a really great website to go ahead and make some extra money. I did a video, a full in-depth video, well not in-depth, but I did a video on Fiverr a couple of days ago showing how you can make money using Fiverr by flipping between Fiverr and also Etsy. But voiceover, voiceover is a really, really simple way to go ahead and make some money on Fiverr. There's also lots of different things on here, like if you're particularly good at writing, if you're good at taking pictures, blogging, there's just so many different ways that you can make money on Fiverr. It's a great website and it's been around for a number of years. So let me load this, let me scroll this down for you. Let's see. What's going oh, it's not crashed, has it? Search that again. Let's search this again. Sorry about this. It's loading up. So this is the voice over gigs on Fiverr. And again, I know for a fact that there's people selling this. But also, do you know what you can also do on Fiverr? All of that stuff that you found over on the public domain items on the public domain website, you can bundle all those together and you can come and offer those on Fiverr because I know there's lots of people offering different services on Fiverr around di different things. So if you were to go ahead and take your learn, learn Spanish online CD, you can come over to Fiverr and list that on here. I know I know people are doing that, but in terms of voice servers, I mean don't don't be put off by this. If you, if you've got an if you've got a decent phone and you can re record record your voice on a phone, then you can go ahead and offer these gigs. You can see on here you've got this one here starting at four pound and then the price goes up. And it's like anything level one seller when people first come onto the platform they offer their services at these sorts of prices once once they make a few sales and start to get some feedback they then start up in the prices and you can see that you've got some here at four pound and twelve we then start moving up to 28 pound 37 and 82 pound but fiverr it's a really great website to use it's a simple website and again if you don't have an idea and you're trying to think what you know what could you sell on here just simply come in here just simply come in here and have a look at what people are doing on here 
you've got fly um what did we look at the other day we did we looked at flyer creation creating flyers for people so you can use a web website like canva and offer those services go ahead and have if you're interested in this go ahead and on my channel and have a look for a video about two days ago and it will show you a really simple way of making like flyers on fiverr and also youtube banners and a couple of other different services but fiverr.com really great website really easy really simple the next website I'm going to share with you is this one here, and it's called clickbank.com. Now, clickbank, this this here is basically affiliate marketing. Now, clickbank is 100% free to go ahead and sign up with and get started. Then on your left-hand side here, you've got all of these different categories down here. So depending on which topic or niche you're in, you would come on here and you would find products that you want to recommend or sell or share with your fans friends on your website on your blog on pinterest youtube wherever but basically you come over here you'd go into your categories let's just click on here let's just click on the self-help category it will open up the category for you you simply you go through you find a product that you want to promote or share and then whenever anybody goes ahead and buys something you earn a commission for doing so now again i've covered clickbank many a times on this channel before you can absolutely make some really really great money using clickbank this is just one website when it comes to affiliate marketing there's hundreds and hundreds more but clickbank the barrier to entry with clickbank is really simple about 90 percent of the time when you click on these promote buttons here you, you get given a link and then you can start sharing that whereas on some different platforms you have to get approved so that's why clickbank is a great website for beginners to use so this is a, and again it's a simple easy free website to go ahead and use to make some extra money the next one is this one here and it's called shutterstock.com now shutterstock.com what this does here is it has on here it has images it has footage it has music tracks it's got different audio tracks on here and basically how you can use this website to make money is you take images you upload them onto here whenever anybody goes ahead and buys one of your images or your videos then you earn a commission they, they pay a 40 percent commission now in terms of earning a hundred dollars a day with this you can do this but you, you're going to need to be uploading quite a few images on here now one little tip i would say to you on here is you <laughs> Lots of people just go ahead when I mention this website and they just, they just start photographing lots and lots of random crap. If you go in here, if you go into images, they've got, let me go on to photos. When you're doing this, what I would say is decide on like a topic or a niche and then start uploading your photos for that topic or that niche. So let me just go, let's just go in here and let's just type in something. Let's just type in um, C. Let's just type in C, C images. So if, if you live by the sea, perhaps, and you can go ahead and get lots and lots of different images of the sea, then you can go ahead and upload these. But bearing in mind, people who are coming over to this website looking for images, they're going to be bloggers, they're going to be website owners, they're going to be entrepreneurs, they're, they're potentially going to be different marketing brands. So try and think a little bit outside of the box instead of just taking lots and lots of random images. Look at potentially photos that people are going to be wanting, going to be looking for, which they could use on their blogs and their marketing campaigns, and then upload them. So you can see on here, this, this one here, this C stock photos. These are just some examples of the photos on here. And again, if you live by the sea or somewhere, you can go ahead and upload these. <laughs> that might be a poor example, but it's just one that comes straight into my head. But that is shutterstock.com. The next one is this one here, and it's called the amazon publishing so i was going to say publishing but it's kdp.amazon.com now publishing an ebook so this is basically where you write a write a pdf and then you upload it onto amazon and then and then you make that into an ebook it's a digital book which people go ahead and read on amazon there's millions of these books on here obviously books is how amazon first got started but Amazon publishing it's absolutely free to go ahead and get started and you can see here what happens is once you've got your book you come and you publish your book onto Amazon now it says here publishing takes less than five minutes and then your book appears on the Kindle stores worldwide now you make money how do you make money from doing this every time somebody buys one of your books you earn 70% royalties and you can see these are the countries where you're going to earn 70% on here so it's a, again it's a simple way and what i do like about this is it's a passive way to make some extra money 
Now you might be thinking, well, I can't write an ebook. I don't have a clue what to do. What you can do, and I know lots of people who do this, you can go over to websites like Fiverr, which we've looked at a couple of minutes ago, or Upwork, and you can get you can pay people to write your ebook e for you. Then you come over to the Amazon, put a self publishing, you publish it on there, and then you go ahead and you make seventy percent every time somebody buys. So. It's a simple and easy way to make some extra money online and it's a passive income because once you've done the work, once you've, you've got your book on here, it's being published, then it's going to start bringing you in an income for a long time. Well, until you take it down. The next one, we're nearly there now, we're nearly there. The next one is this one here. Now, again, not many people know about this one. This is Handmade by Amazon. So this is similar to Etsy. This is, funnily enough, all handmade products. So if you're good at making handmade products, then you can come over to the handmade products on Amazon and you can go ahead and put them on here. And there's lots and lots of different categories in here of different handmade items that you're doing on here. Now, on my blog, I did an interview with a lady who sells handmade items over on Etsy. But the, the items that she sells over on Etsy, they're predominantly the same as over on Amazon handmade. So I'll drop a link below to that interview for you. Go ahead and have a look at that and have a read of that because she gives some really good tips. She shares her earnings. She shares the products that she's making. And she's making a pretty decent income from doing so. But that is Amazon handmade. The last website is this one here, and it's YouTube. Now, I've got a full series on how to make money on YouTube because you don't have to be on camera like I'm being on here with you. You do not even have to go ahead and create your own videos. And lots of people think when, you, when you're trying to look at making money on, on um, YouTube, you have to go down the AdSense route. So what that basically means is, once you have once you have got your uh, once you've got your channel created you need to have a minimum of a thousand subscribers and you need to ha also have a minimum of four thousand hours view time so you can see up here at this moment in time i've currently got 1080 subscribers and my view time is currently on 1.7k so i'm about 40 percent 41 percent of the way to getting my content on youtube monetized and what that basically means is my, uh, people will pay to put their advertisements on my videos whether that's at the front of the video at the end of the video or little pop-ups throughout the video then you earn a commission for doing so now that whilst that's great and lots of people strive for that that isn't the only way that you can make money on on, on youtube some simple ways like affiliate marketing ways what you can do is you can create a channel around a certain topic. You can go over to the site ClickBank, which we looked at earlier. You find products on there that you want to promote. You put your videos up on YouTube. You put your links below to the products that you recommend on ClickBank, and then you earn a commission for doing so. And I know this works for a fact because I'm doing this. I've got several different niche channels on YouTube where I'm earning money on there. One of the channels is monetized, the other one's not, but again, the ads and the, the income that you earn from the ads is nowhere near the income that you earn from the affiliate marketing side of things. So that is today's video. That is 10 different websites that you can use to go ahead and make $100 a day. If you've got any questions, go ahead, please leave them below. I will drop links to all of the different websites that we've looked at below as well for you. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, good luck and I shall see you tomorrow.